beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a second reaction to Diana because a lot of you guys were super angry at me for some reasons that I would love to clarify to you. And then again, I would like to watch some different things and go into another analysis of her. Now for everyone who haven't watched my latest reaction to Diana, there were a lot of mean comments or a lot of, I would say, unnecessary comments and I would love to clarify some things. So, number one, I turned down the volume because a lot of videos here are copyright blocked. Sometimes when I do a Dimash video, it takes up to five times before the video can actually go online. So, I try to work with a lot of tips and tricks and one tip is make more pauses. One tip is make more cuts. Another tip is slow down the volume. Another tip is change the volume, yeah? And make it a different sound. Another one is keep the video but take off the sound. So there are a lot of guys and, and tips that I tried over the last three, four years when I was doing the chat. So it was not on purpose for me to not wanting her to, to be in full volume. No, it was a trick to try to, you know, work around the copyright blocks and strikes. Another big reason why I'm not speaking in Russian is because the main audience is not from Russia at the end of the day. The main audience here on that channel is partly English speaking. So if I start to speak in Russia, it's it's not gonna work out because that's not the main audience. And then second of all, I say that I said this in every video, I am not originally from Russia. So that makes things very difficult because Russia, Russian is not my mother language. My mother language is German and I have only been like two or three times to Russia for vacation. So Russian speaking is really, really basic when I do it. So it's not, I would never, never do a full analysis technically because I don't know the words there. So just, just for you guys, before you're coming at me, for asking why I'm not doing the Russian reaction, this is the reason why. And then the third one, you guys were disappointed because I was not doing big reactions on my face. It's because I have done reactions to Diana and they all have been taken down. So I had a really big re reaction to Rechinka and it was taken down. So I already knew her and I knew her voice and I knew the techniques that she was working because we all have them in school, in class, and study. So another thing I also want to say, and that's the last point, a lot of YouTube reactors do specifically faces. They do comic faces or they do really kind of like exager exaggerated faces for the views, you know? Sometimes they have watched the videos already um, and they do, they do this really unproportional big views, like, oh my God, and it's a lot of masquerade, it's a lot of acting out for the views. So sometimes, just because I'm not doing like big faces, that doesn't mean I don't enjoy her performance. It just mean I knew already how she sings, uh, sings and it was no surprise to me. Okay, let's go to personal Jesus. Jesus. Someone to hear your prayer. Someone who cares. Woo! You rule. Love the light, love the stage. As something that we haven't even talked about in the last time is that she really is taking a focus on stage and the whole performance. That's a good job. That's a really very beautiful stage. Okay, just here. Now, it was really hard for me to understand some, some parts. You know, last time in the video I said 
one way of recreating her style if you want to try it out at home. Really, if you want to try it out at home by yourself, not imitating someone, but to try out to play with that sound, then one way is to uh, lower the soft palette. Here is a picture of the soft palette so you guys know what's going on. So we have the soft palette and we have the tongue. And the tongue is very much in the back and I said it already in the first video. The tongue is in the back and both of them have contact. And that's why that sound gets, gets a little bit more knurdly and gets a little bit more nasally, yeah? Because that air is also passing through the nose. It gets a little bit like this. That's the idea of what she's doing if you want to try it out. Of course, she has her own way of making that sound work sort of fantastically. So that's just one thing. But, you know, make sure you need the tongue to articulate so the sound will resonate much in the front, yeah? And as you can see, in terms of getting that sound much forward, you really have to work more with your tongue. Let's continue. Okay, uh, let me know in the comment section how do you like that personal Jesus. What I do like is the sound engineering part. Now they have the echo on top of it, so she sings there and she has at the same time an echo going on. Please have in mind that a lot of things in TV are not always live. Due to technical things, it's not always possible to make it live. A lot of Russian television doesn't want you to go live, and then the same the same is in Germany as well. So there are very a little till few um, the TV stations that goes live, and usually it's a lot of playback or half playback, or it's a pre-recorded audio, and that is normal. Yeah, I just want you to know. I'm not saying it's necessarily that her performance is um, is not live. Just saying, please keep that in mind. Okay. Oh, I like the Jesus. Also, a lot of you guys said that she is a lyrical contra alto, and I think that's beautiful. I'm an alto myself as well, so I love women with really rich, beautiful, dark voices. I really, really like those sounds. I'm a big fan of Diana Krall, Amy Winehouse. I like just dark timbers, uh, timbres. Um, overall, what I want to mention is the nice switch. I do want to say that I think that the switch that she's always doing is really, really nicely done without any break or without any yodel. Let's continue. <laughs> That was very good. That's nice. That was good. So I think she definitely could do a lot more ad libs because the ad libs were very, very nice and I enjoyed the ad libs a lot. So everything that is more into you being individual and you being creative is exactly what we are looking for if you sing, yeah? And I think. Doing those ad libs gives a very, very specific note, yeah? Because it's your personal note, and that is nice. So when she's going to that more rocky sound, uh, that, uh, that is something that I enjoy. Yeah! Overall, I really enjoyed the performance, and one really good, nice plus is the stage performance. She always has very creative stage performances that fit into her persona, that fit into her voice. 
and overall it creates good storytelling for the song and I think that is interesting and that is something that's a really a top. Let me know in the comment sections which song would you like to see next. We're also on Instagram, we're also on TikTok and I would be very happy to serve you with more helpful tips, tricks and analysis here on the channel. Hashtag weaponize your voice, get strong and don't forget to kick ass.